my next video in this video we are going to see the reactions of carboxylic acids so the carboxylic acid group is nothing but a COOH group it is an acid because any chemical compound which readily gives H plus ions is called as an acid so according to this concept our carboxylic acid group COOH group is readily giving H plus ion uh, that is why it is called as an acid so the reactions of carboxylic acid first reaction is salt formation so here since it is an acid it can be able to react with the bases to form salt the first case it is reacting with the sodium hydroxide to form sodium carboxylate so the h plus from carboxylic acid and oh minus from a base uh, join together and forms a water so hence rcoo minus and na plus forms sodium carboxylate and the second case it is reacting with ammonia so nh3 is uh, is called as a base because it can be able to accept a proton so uh, NaOH is a base because it can be able to donate a OH minus ion. In the other hand, NH3 is a base whether, because it is it can be able to accept a proton. So the hydrogen from the carboxylic group can be accepted by the NH3 and forms as an ammonium ion. So here RCO minus carboxylate ion and ammonium ion join together and ammonium carboxylate formed ammonium carboxylate formed as an salt. So the third one is so the carboxylic acid reacting with the sodium carbonate. So sodium carbonate is a base. So here in order to balance the equation, we need to put two carboxylic acids. Two or CO which group can join together. In the third case, in the third case. The carboxylic acid is reacting with the sodium carbonate base. Here, uh, sodium carbonate gives uh, two sodium atoms. So, hence, in order to balancing the equation, we have to put two or so which two carboxylic acids we have to take. The two carboxylic acid liberates two H plus atoms, and the two sodium atoms will join together and form sodium carboxylate. The CO3, the, uh, the carbon. Uh, carbonate from the carbonate, the carbon dioxide re re I mean, released as a gas, CO2 gas, and the uh, remaining two hydrogens from the carboxyl group attaching with one oxygen from the carbonate and goes as a water. So, the fourth case it is reacting with the zinc. So, two carboxylic acids reacting with the zinc and forms zinc carboxylate. Here, the oxidation state of zinc is 2 plus, hence, two carboxylic acid is used. So, to, from two carboxylic acid, two hydrogen atoms are released and the two hydrogen atoms goes as H2 gas and the two carboxylate are attached with the zinc uh, cation and forms the zinc carboxylate. This is the first type of reaction and the second type of reaction is ester formation. The second type of reaction uh, in which the carboxylic acid involves is ester formation. So, in this case, the carboxylic acids react with alcohols which is having OH group in presence of a mineral acid. So, in presence of a strong mineral acid like sulfuric acid, it forms esters. So, carboxylic acid while reacting with alcohol, the from carboxylic acid hydrogen is released, from alcohol OH minus is released. So, these two join together and forms a water and the remaining part joins and forms a ester group. So, ester group is nothing but R C double bond O O R prime. So, this is called ester group. So, this is ester formation. And the third case, third reaction of carboxylic acid is acid halides. In the acid halides, we need a halogenating agents. Here, we can consider chlorine as an halogen in this case. The acid carboxylic acid react with the phosphorus halides like PCL3, PCL5 and thionyl chloride SOCl2. Phosphorus trichloride, phosphorus pentachloride and thionyl chloride SOCl2. These two chlorinating agents when reacting with uh, carboxylic acids will form acid chlorides. So, COOH plus PCL3 in the first case, in the first case, uh, COOH plus PCL3 gives 
COCl acid chloride forms first remaining H3PO3 will go as a side product in the second case RCO which carboxylic acid reacting with PCl5 forms as pentachloride and forms acid chloride at first along with phosphorus trichloride P POCl3 plus HCl and in the third case so RCO which carboxylic acid reacting with thionyl chloride and forms acid chloride along with sulfur dioxide and HCl as the side product so then the fourth reaction of as carboxylic acid is nothing but formation of acid anhydride so when carboxylic acid are treated with a dehydrating agent like P2O5 acid anhydrides formed so in this case the two molecules of carboxylic acid we have to take from one carboxylic acid hydrogen can be released uh, from the another carboxylic acid OH can be released so these H plus and OH minus will join together and forms a water molecule here this reaction happens uh, while we are heating it in presence of a dehydrating agent like P2O5 so since P2O5 is a dehydrating agent it can dehydrate a water molecule from the carboxylic acids and releases as H2O the remaining groups uh, like R C double bond O uh, o and uh, again carbon C double bond O R. So this kind of functionality is called acid anhydride. Then the fifth reaction is called reduction to hydrocarbons and reduction to alcohols. So in the reduction carboxylic acid on reduction in presence of hydrogen iodide in, in presence of red phosphorus forms alkanes carb hydrocarbons or CS3 or COH converted into or CS3 with the liberation of two moles of water. So in the same way in presence of nickel hydrogen gas will be passed. So carboxylic acid on treatment with hydrogen gas in presence of nickel catalyst alkanes or CH3 is formed along with the two moles of water is liberated. So this is a strong reducing agents. When we are using a mild reducing agent instead of alkanes it forms alcohols carboxylic acids also undergo reduction with the presence of lithium aluminum hydride uh, in, in th of a solvent it forms primary alcohols in this case rcoh carboxylic acid on treatment with the lithium aluminum hydride so it it uh, cleaves two oxygen from the carbon and add two hydrogens in the place to the carbon so the carboxylic carbon which is having C double bond O the C double bond O oxygen released from the carboxylic acid instead of the two hydrogen is added so R C H O which primary alcohol is formed so this kind of reduction is also possible in carboxylic acid then the uh, sixth reaction is formation of ketones carboxylic acid when treated with alkyl lithium at first it forms lithium carboxylate and then on further treatment with the next mole of alkyl lithium it forms 2 O L I O L I uh, with the carbon atom and on uh, further stages it forms a ketone with the liberation of 2 lithium and water molecule and the seventh uh, reaction of carboxylic acid is uh, alpha halogenation the alpha halogenation reaction was uh, discovered by the scientist Hell, Wolhard and Zelensky Hen the reaction is called Hell, Wolhard, Zelensky reaction. Here in this reaction, when a carboxylic acid containing alpha hydrogens is treated with halogens in presence of red phosphorus, the alpha hydrogen atom are replaced by halogen. In this case, in presence of red phosphorus, we are adding bromine, al bromine gas. So the bromine will involve in presence of red phosphorus in a reaction and replaced to the alpha hydrogen to bromine, bromine atom. The alpha, the hydrogen, which is next to carboxylic uh, carbon, the hydrogen which is available to the next to carbon to the carboxylic carbon is called alpha carbon. In the alpha carbon, one hydrogen is replaced, substituted by bromine atom. So this kind of reaction is called alpha halogenation. And the eighth type of reaction, which is the carboxylic acid involves, is formation of primary amines. So in the formation of primary amines, carboxylic acid yield primary amines by the action of hydrozoic acid. So hydrozoic acid means N3H, hydrozoic acid N3H, uh, a vigorous reaction starts 
with the evolution of nitrogen and when the resulting solution is formed with the water primary amine is formed with the evolution of carbon dioxide the reaction is known as smith rearrangement so carboxylic acid when treatment with hydrozoic acid n3h it forms amine and with the liberation of nitrogen and carbon dioxide so these are all the eight type of uh, reactions in which the carboxylic acid involves so these are all the eight type of reactions in which the carboxylic acid involves so first one is salt formation second one is ester formation third one is formation of acid halide fourth one is formation of acid anhydride and the fifth one is reduction of carboxylic acid into alkanes and primary alcohols and the sixth one is carboxylic acid and treatment with alkyl lithium to form ketones and the seventh one is alpha halogenation alpha bromination uh, alpha bromine substitution in the carboxylic acids which is hell wall called zelensky reaction and the eighth one is formation of primary amine with the treatment of uh, hydrozoic acid thank you In the video, you will be able to like, share, comment, subscribe, and click the bell icon.